Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Once again, my loves, thank you all so much for your love and your prayers and your patience. Uh, for those of you new to the channel, I am recovering from COVID and then I caught pneumonia after COVID, <coughs> which I'm still recovering from, but I am feeling much better. Um, so anyways, this is a Cancerian only channel. My name is Gina. Cross watchers are welcome. Um, if you would like to view other sign placements, <coughs> you can view my main channel, um, which is Tarot of Light. I haven't been able to post on there recently too much because as I said, I'm recovering from an illness, but um, you can go ahead, subscribe, click that notification bell and um, you'll you'll know when i post um i do uh giveaways on this channel once a month you can go ahead and look at the description box below to get um information on that <coughs> recommended readers are below tiktoks my tiktok is below everything you could possibly need <coughs> is below this is so crazy i haven't coughed all morning it's so weird and then as soon as i get on camera i'm coughing so i apologize guys um Okay, guys, readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it. Um, this could be energy in or around you. So this could even be something someone close to you is going through, okay? So we are going to go ahead and start with some oracle, and then we're going to get into the actual reading, okay? <coughs> Let me just go ahead and grab some water. It's so weird. I have not coughed all morning. I think it's just because I'm talking a little bit louder. Anyways, let's get started. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful cancers, please. New supportive connections. And then we've got no with an exclamation point. So that's like a hell no. Magician in the mirror. By the book. This is interesting. Surrender to the divine. And gifts. Interesting. So Cancer, I feel like someone here has definitely manifested something. With Magician in the Mirror and Gifts here, someone here has manifested a situation to come into play. Now with Surrender to the Divine and by the book, I feel like someone here is willing to play by the rules and surrender to receive this gift cancer okay now the interesting thing here we've got new supportive connections and no so here's what i'm thinking cancer i feel like you have something amazing coming in but perhaps this is something new coming in and you're like no i don't want this new person i want the person that i want and that's the key when it comes down to manifesting <coughs> <coughs> you can't mess with free will when you're manifesting cancer. So if you're manifesting a strong soulmate in your life, if you're manifesting marriage, if you're manifesting an undying love, whatever you're manifesting, we can't say, you know, I want forever with John or I want forever with Lisa. You know what I'm saying? No, that's not the way it works. It's, you know, I want a forever partner in my life and whoever the divine brings to you that is who it is so you have to manifest and then align yourself to receive because you can't mess with free will okay so i feel cancer that someone here manifested manifested correctly but the surrender you have to play by the rules here you have to surrender to the divine because what's coming towards you is someone new 
And I feel like you don't want someone new. You're like, no, wrong person. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? It's someone new. Now, Cancer, this could be happening to you or this could be happening to your person where your person manifested a strong soul tie. Your person manifested a deep love and a solid commitment. Um, And that is happening with you, not with the, the person they expected it to happen with. And there's a sense of, man what do I do now? You know, like, oh my gosh. So tell me about cancer, please, spirit. Tell me about cancer, please, spirit. What does cancer need to know, please, spirit? Okay, so we've got trauma and drama up in smokes. We have crystals, time to heal, center and ground. We've got abandoned kingdom, neglected home, and isolation. And then we've got offer not worth taking. And look at that temptation with an apple. Let go, release what no longer serves me. Sluggish, lazy, delays, and slow progress. Keyhole, truths will be illuminated. And then letter, messages with new plans and opportunities opening up with new direction. Yep. So cancer, this is what's happening. Someone here doesn't want to let go. Someone here should be abandoning a situation. Someone here should be letting go of a situation. And I feel like this situation that should be let go of is coming back around. There's temptation that's happening here and it's not worth taking. Okay. I feel like you're supposed to be now, Cancer, this could be you. This could be your person. Take it as it resonates. But someone here is supposed to be grounding. They're supposed to be centering themselves. They're supposed to be healing from this situation, from this negative situation. There was a lot of trauma, drama that happened from this connection. But someone here is procrastinating when it's coming down to letting go. So, Cancer, you could be dealing with someone who's be, who's procrastinating when it comes down to releasing an ex or a past person or cancer you may not be wanting to let go of a past person but here's the deal the truth is clear the solution here is clear the divine is telling you here there is a new direction here i am opening up a new opportunity for you we've already seen in one oracle new supportive connections now we're seeing it again here messages new plans opportunities opening up there is a new offer being brought to you, Cancer, or you are the new thing being brought to your person. But someone here is not willing to accept that they have manifested a different situation than what they expected. Okay, um, so someone here is manifesting, they're getting what they've manifested, but they don't want to play by the rules and surrender to the divine's will. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, there's a meme on Facebook and it comes to mind. It's, you know, whether you're Christian or not, you'll get the gist of it. You've got Jesus Christ uh, crouched down in front of a little girl. And this little girl has this tiny little teddy bear, right? And Jesus has this massive man-sized teddy bear behind him. And he's like, give me this, give me this. And the little girl's like, no, I don't want this. I love this teddy bear. It's my teddy bear. And you know, Jesus is ready to give her so much more, but she just has to surrender that little teddy bear. And it's the same concept here. There's something so huge coming into play. It's everything you could have manifested, everything you could have wanted, everything you could have desired coming into play, but we're not releasing that tiny, that tiny teddy bear, you know? So now again, cancer, it could be you, that's unwilling to release. It could be your person that's that's holding on to a past person. So let's see here. <coughs> Tell me about cancer, please. I got my new Christmas deck. I love it. We're going to use this till the end of the year. Tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What does cancer need to know here, please? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay. We have the seven of swords. We've got the Sun card in the reverse, Leo energy. 
the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We have the Tower in the reverse, Aries, Scorpionic energy. We have the Seven of Wands, and we've got the Knight of Swords in the reverse, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Wow. Under the deck, the Three of Swords, Cancer. So with the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Swords in the reverse, this is an energy of don't talk to me. Don't even come near me. Don't try to pursue me. Don't chase me. I don't want to hear nothing. With the Tower, it ended between us and I don't want to try again. This is an energy of I don't want to try again. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Knight of Swords in the reverse. You've got two people here at a total stalemate, not wanting to talk to each other, not wanting to go near each other. Problem is with the Sun card in the reverse and the Seven of Swords, it's a lie. It's a lie. So Cancer, you could be in a relationship with somebody that is telling you, I don't ever, sorry, my owl is like tipping over here. He's so cute, isn't he? Okay, so anyways, moving on. Um, you may be with somebody that is telling you, I despise my ex. I don't ever want to see this person. I don't even talk to me about my ex. I don't, I do not care about this person. I'm not going to talk to them. I don't want to hear about them. I don't want to think about them. Do not talk to me about my ex. I don't talk to my ex. My ex doesn't talk to me. I hate my ex. I don't want to like, it's such a like, don't talk to me about my ex. I don't care about this person, but it's a lie. Now, Cancer, you may be saying that about your ex. Your person may be saying that about their ex, that there's nothing happening there, but there is. But there is. Sun card in the reverse and the seven of swords. So I don't feel as of right now that they're talking or that anything's happening, but the emotions are there. Okay? <coughs> they're lying to themselves. With the three of swords, you may have two people that are very heartbroken or that are in pain. They're at a stalemate. Okay? A little bit of rebound energy here. Tell me about the Seven of Wands here for Cancer. Fool card in the reverse, Aries energy, and the Strength card, Leo energy. So I feel like, again, standing their ground. Seven of Wands, the Strength card, nope, I'm not giving in. But at the same time, with the Fool card in the reverse, I'm not moving on. Okay, six of swords here. I'm leaving the world card. I'm leaving. I'm, I don't want this anymore. I'm... Oh, I'm sorry, guys. My mom. Um, so, guys, I, I feel like, you know, th there's a sense of, nope, don't talk to me. Don't come near me. You know, I'm leaving. I'm moving on. I'm moving out. I'm traveling overseas. I'm going places with my life. But with the fool card in the reverse, someone isn't actually moving on. Okay? Tell me about the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Four of Pentacles in the reverse and the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Someone here is giving the appearance of I've let this go. Don't King of Swords, don't talk to me about this person. Someone here may get mean. If you mention this person's name, they get defend. I don't want to talk about this person. I don't care about this person. Okay. Judgment card here. I've made my decision about this. Per don't talk to me about this person. Okay. Someone may get very defensive, maybe even a little crude or mean. You know, I've let that go. I have no interest in that person. Hmm. Tell me about the tower in the reverse. Oh, wow. A lot came out on that one. Seven of Pentacles. The world card. The king of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And the page of swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So Cancer, this tower fell. Okay, the tower fell, and with the Seven of Pentacles, someone here cannot forget the way the relationship ended. <clears throat> when they say with the Page of Swords and the King of Pentacles, I'm committed to you, and I'm not looking back, and I don't care about that, I feel like they feel like they're being honest. I feel like they feel like they're being honest. You know why? Because they can't forgive the way the relationship ended. Tower in the reverse. So let me just explain that real quick, okay? 
when the tower is in the upright it's a it's it's an indication of a relationship that is falling apart because there's something wrong in the connection that is not being resolved so anytime you try to build with that relationship it will crumble okay it will crumble now you can always work with your partner to fix the foundation fix the problem and continue to try to rebuild or you can move on to a new relationship learn your lessons on what's wrong with the foundation and try to build a new tower with a new person but when it's in the reverse this is an indication that you've reached a point in the relationship where the foundation is so messed up there's no more rebuilding on it you got to go build a whole new foundation somewhere else okay and so I do feel that this person genuinely is like I will never go down that road again okay I will never go down that road again with the seven of pentacles I will never forget what this person did to me I will never forget how this person treated me don't talk to me about this person I'm telling you I'm here I'm committed to you and I'm real okay but there's a fine line between love and hate OK, and it would appear to me that someone here still carries a lot of animosity and a lot of hatred. And I hate to say that word hatred, but someone's mad. Someone's angry here. And there's a fine line between love and hate. You understand? So if this person still has so much anger and so much tremendous emotion towards somebody, it might be a problem. You know, that might be a a problem there. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, please. The Chariot, Cancerian Energy, and the Ace of Swords. Cancer, I do feel that somebody <coughs> is cutting something out of their life. We've got the Five of Pentacles. They are ghosting something, cutting it out of their life with the Chariot. This person is wanting to move forward and make the right decision with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, if things have been at a stalemate between you and this person, things are going to move forward, okay? Um, or this person is saying with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, I will never apologize to this person. I will never accept an apology from this person. I'm cutting them out of my life and I'm moving forward, okay? So this person ha has this intention set of wanting to move forward. And I think this is what we saw in the Oracle Cancer. Someone here manifested new love. They met, I just want to get away from this. I just want this out of my life and I want something new. But now that the new has presented itself with that no, you know, and the exclamation mark card, it's almost like, yeah, I know I said I wanted something new, but I don't know if I do. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, I, you know, I hate them. I don't want them, but am I really ready for something new? I don't know, you know, <coughs> but the new is here now. The new is here now. And with the sun card in the reverse and the seven of swords, tell me about the sun card in the reverse. What is not being shown here? What is not being shown here? the hermit and the ace of pentacles cancer you may be dealing with somebody that's trying to keep your relationship a secret the hermit virgo energy yeah there's someone here that's either not speaking their truth ace of pentacles something new is happening here there's a new relationship that's starting here but with the hermit when this person's alone they're thinking about things that they don't tell you about They're thinking of things that they don't tell you about. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please, for Cancer. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please, for Cancer. Ooh. We've got the Four of Wands, and we have the Lover's Card, Gemini Energy, and we've got the Devil, Capricorn Energy, with the Two of Wands. Cancer, you've got somebody here <coughs> that has a choice to make. <coughs> Seven of Swords and the Four of Wands, this person may be in two separate relationships or they're about to be because their past is coming back. With the Lover's card here, Four of Wands and the Lover's card is a very strong soul tie, very strong, um, you know, divine counterpart, very so strong twin soul type of energy. But they're going to have a choice. So this person may feel a soulmate connection between you and this other person or cancer. You may feel a soul tie connection between yourself and someone from the past. But with the two of wands and the devil card, this person has a situation where there's two people. 
Okay, this person has to make a decision between two people. And I feel like in front of one person, you know, they're so adamant on don't even talk to me about this person over here. But that person is very, very, very relevant. Okay, that person is very relevant. Um, and the fact that they get very defensive when you mention their name or the fact that <coughs> cancer you get defensive when their name is mentioned says something huge <coughs> huge red flag <coughs> so i am sorry I have so many phone calls and then when i'm not reading i no one calls me like no one calls me anyways so yeah, we're going to take this into the extended cancer. Okay, we are going to look into this tower in the reverse. We're going to look into this seven of swords. We're going to look into this devil and this two of wands, what this person's lying about. Um, let's see what we have going on with you. Let's see what we have going on with the third party. What decision is this person going to make? We have that we really need to dig. This is going to get juicy. We need to dig into this because you're dealing with someone here that is, you know, has two totally separate situations happening here and they're stringing somebody along into making them believe that everything is safe and everything is okay when it's not so that could be you doing that cancer that could be your person so we're going to take a, a look into each individual situation and in all three of these parties in the extended okay the link will be in the description box below and in the comment section below i love you guys so very very much and i will see you guys soon bye my loves